Hello, my favorite carboholics. I'm out here absorbing some vitamin D because I don't get to get outside and do a whole lot like I used to, but I'm catching up. So today I wanted to come to you and talk to you a little bit about a part of the recipe that we have to do for this weekend. And it's called a poolish. Do you want to add another level to your bakes at home? A poolish. Poolish, vega, sponge, free ferment. They're all the same thing. Poolish. E-O-O-L-I-S-H. In Italy, it's called a biga. In the United States, sometimes called a sponge or a preferment. What this is, is when you mix a equal parts flour and water, and in our case this weekend, 227 grams of flour and 227 grams of water and one fourth teaspoon of yeast, just a little bit of yeast. You mix those things together until they are mixed no loose flour hanging around and you let it rest on your counter for eight to ten hours before you mix it with your dough so that's what we're going to do so you need to pay attention and make sure that you've mixed your poolish friday night if you're going to bake with us saturday uh, eight to so it's at least eight to ten hours before it goes in now what this does is it adds flavor to your bread it also adds structure to the bread this is a um, way of fermenting a little bit of the material going into your dough without having to do the, a bulk fermentation for so long. If it sounds like a sourdough starter, that's because it kind of is a sourdough starter, but different, just different. It also adds sweetness to your dough, to your bread, because it'll the, the microorganisms will begin to start breaking down the starches that are in the flour, turning them into glucose so that the yeast can eat them. And it also releases those and, and, and makes those sweet flavors available to us. So we don't have to add sugar like the commercial kitchens do. We don't have to add sweetener in order to make our bread uh, more attractive sweet wise. So this is a poolish and this weekend we're gonna be using that. If um, you're going to be baking with me on Saturday morning. Make sure Friday night before you go to bed, put 227 grams of flour into a uh, container and also put 227 grams of water and one fourth teaspoon of yeast. Now listen, I always talk about buying a scale if you don't have a scale. And there'll be a scale that I recommend in the link below but this will allow us to take as much variability out of our baking as possible. We'll always try to come out with, um, in baking, we always want to come out with the same result so that we can begin to improve upon it. If you don't know where the, the, the bullseye is, then there's, you know, any shot you make is, is close. But we know where we want to be. So we're going to aim for that spot. A focaccia using a poolish. This is going to expand your horizons. You're going to use a poolish or a preferment in other more advanced bread recipes. If you've never had focaccia before, this is going to be a treat. So add this to your repertoire and join us in Bake on Saturday mornings for Baking Great Bread at Home. Brought to you by Henry's Bread Kitchen. Just follow the link and you will be able to explore the wide ranging world of bread baking.